Hi everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at the new G7 single stage board and how that's going to apply um, to that new furnace in regards to the FER regulations that have come down the line. Also, we'll take a look at the wiring diagram and how this may apply to troubleshooting the motor along with some of the features that are on the board. Now, the two stage furnaces with the FSHE and VSHE motors will not be affected with FER. Also, the speed selection on the board will not change. So what I have in front of me here is the new G7 board. At the bottom of the board here, traditionally on the old one, it was line voltage that was being outputted of the board. Now what we have switched to is this four pin plug down here is gonna be a 24 volt VAC or AC current going to that motor. These relays here, which correspond to these plugs right here, They've gotten a little bit smaller to handle the 24 volt. With the new furnaces, you cannot put an older single stage board on a new FER rated furnace because again, the, the power output at the bottom is gonna be different and it just won't work. Also too, as far as changing the speeds for your blower motor, that hasn't changed. So up here at the top, you'll still have your heat and cool switch along with the fan switch as well. So on how you actually switch up your blower speed will not change. Now, another thing too, with the new blower motor, you will have um, up to five speeds on that motor. With these dip switches, you only have the selection of four for blower speeds, but you do have a fifth on the motor and we'll take a look at that on the wiring diagram. What you'll have is a black and a white wire, which will be your 120 volt going to the motor, um, and that comes directly from the furnace board. You will then have your speed wires. So on the board side, you'll have a red, an orange, a blue, and a black. That'll be on pins one, two, three, and four. Those colors will translate through the nine pin plug directly to the blower motor. Now on the blower motor, on the wiring diagram, you'll see you'll have pins one through five. So depending on what speed you wanna select, you can switch up one of those color wires and put it on one of the speeds that's not selected on that nine pin plug, and that will give you a, a fifth speed option. Also, what we'll have is a gray wire. That will be a 24 volt common, which we need that in order to get 24 volts to the motor. So again, you'll have line voltage and you'll also have um, 24 volt VAC voltage going to the motor. And remember guys, FER does not affect air handlers with the blower motor change. Thanks for watching. You can find more tips on edgetechhvac.com. Thank you.